hi everyone welcome back to my channel math with smart tips today in this video we are solving surface integral that is which is part of a calculus and differential equation of nbhm phd 2017 this is the question number 4.3 which is based on surface integral the question says that let in denote the unit outer normal vector on the surface s of the cylinder x square plus y square less equal to 4 0 less equal to z less equal to 3 then compute the surface integral v dot n ds where v is the vector function x z iota plus 2 y z j cap plus 3 x y k cap this surface integral now before going to the solution of this video i am requesting all those who are new in my channel so please like the video comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and subscribe the channel and share with your friends so let's start the solution now we note that for a vector point function we compute the surface integral by, by changing the surface integral to the volume integral now to change the surface integral to the volume integral we need to use the gauss divergence theorem now the gauss divergence theorem says that for a vector function a the surface integral is converted to a volume integral that is integral over s f dot n ds equal to integral over v divergence of f and db now we now calculate here f is given by the vector function v therefore we need to calculate divergence of v divergence of v this is equal to i del del x plus j cap del del y plus k cap del del z of this function v that is x z i cap plus 2 y z j cap plus 3 x y and k cap therefore i cap i cap therefore one that is del del x of this so del del x of x z since i j is zero and i k is zero and similarly for so only the term are here del del x of this del del y of this and del del z of this so plus del del y of 2 y z plus del del z of 3xy so this is equal to z plus twice z and this is equal to 0 so this is equal to 3z now so here the integration is integral over v integral over s v dot n ds so this is equal to integral over s divergence of v into db now divergence of sorry this is v divergence of v this is equal to 3z and dv equal to dx dy and dz now we need to find the limit of x y and z from this surface s therefore the limit of z is given that 0 less equal to z less equal to 3 therefore this is equal to integral over a dx dy z that is z equal to 0 to 3 now the limit of y equal to now the surface is given that x square plus y square equal to 4 therefore from this surface we have the limit of x and y that is y is vary from minus 2 to 2 this is the limit of y and the limit of x is equal to root under this is equal to x square plus y square equal to 4 and this is equal to x equal to root under of plus minus 4 minus y square therefore the limit of x from minus this to plus this 4 minus y square therefore this is equal to y equal to minus 2 to 2 and the limit of x equal to root under of 4 minus y square to minus this is equal to 4 minus y square 3z dx dy and dz now we note that the function 3z is a uh, even function with respect to y since there is no term of y that is y to the power 0 form so this is equal to integration over z equal to 0 to 3 integration over y equal to minus 2 to 2 and 2 into integration of x equal to 0 to 4 minus y square since this is even 3 z dx dy and dz now this constant 2 into 3 6 outside of the integration z equal to 0 to 3 
y equal to minus 2 to 2 and this is the only dx term so this is the integration of x only and from 0 to root under 4 minus y square and dy dz rest of the integration this is equal to 6 into integration z equal to 0 to 3 integration y equal to minus 2 to 2 and this gives simply root under 4 minus y square dy and dz now this is also the even term with respect to y change this integration limits 2 into integration z equal to 0 to 3 we can change y equal to 0 to 2 since this is even this 2 is here this is your into root under 4 minus y square dy and dz now the integration formula we use this formula here integration over root under a square minus x square dx equal to x by 2 root under x square minus a square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a we use this formula here so the integration becomes 12 into integration z equal to 0 to 3 and this is equal to y by 2 root under 4 this a means here 2 4 minus x square plus a square means 4 by 2 sin inverse y by 2 so the limit is from 0 to 2 and here the integration with respect to z dz therefore this is equal to 12 into integration z equal to 0 to 3 now the this is becomes if we put upper limit this here so this term is 0 and in case of lower limit if we put 0 here so in for this term y this is 0 therefore in case of upper limit and lower limit this term goes to 0 simply this term is present here so this is equal to 2 into if we put upper limit here so y by 2 that means sin inverse 1 that means pi by 2 sin inverse and if we put 0 here minus the 0 term and this is 0 so into dz so to say to cancel and here z 1 z sorry upper so this is equal to 1 z is present here so 12 into pi so 12 into pi and 0 to 3 integration 0 to 3 z dz so this is equal to 12 pi integration is z square by 2 from 0 to 3 so this is equal to 12 pi into this means 9 by 2 and this gives 0 so 6 so this is equal to 54 pi this is the answer of this question therefore the value of this integral equal to 54 pi this gives the correct answer how was the video if the video is helpful for you then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel so thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you